Kumalana and Ablak Gemara, we are up to the Tesla Omid Aleph, and we are sort of the, the bottom half of the page where it says Gufa. First where the line is Tani Lake. Gufa. So we learned yesterday, let's analyze the price there regarding the, the, the we, go. We, talk, we talked about over there. Um, if you go, um, where you sprinkle the blood. So we said you sprinkle the blood on the north east corner. That means the coin that's the entrance to the base of Migdash. And on the right side, the northeast corner. And uh, according to Tanakama, you sprinkle against the wall there and it's flattered. It's, it's, you know, it's two, it spreads across two corners. And then you go to the angling opposite. So you go then to the west, the southwest corner and do the same thing there. And Abshiman Ish, Hamitzvah, he argues. He argues when it comes to the carbon Tummit, he's a Tummit is different. But the carbon Tummit on one side, you do that, you spray in the corner and, and spray, it covers two walls. And the agony across on the other side, you actually cover both walls. First, you do the west and then you do the south. So, Gufa, let's analyze that. If you came to this northeast corner, so you sprinkle it on the corner and then it spreads to two walls. Marav is doing this, then you continue walking around, and you come to the southwest corner, which is right in front of the Hegel, but on the south side, the other side, the left side. No, he said, Marav is doing this. You put it there, you sprinkle on the corner, then it spreads to two sides. But Tony, a lot of Shimon, he shimits, but he mishan the Tummit, he argues, and when it comes to a carbon Tummit, you have to change it. He says the Tummit is sort of half between a Chattas and half an Euler. Because by an Euler, you put it on the corner and it spreads it to two walls. By a Chattas, you actually put it on each wall. By a Chattas, you put it on all four sides, you go wall by wall by wall, side by side by side. Yeah. Uh, but he does not walk up in the cabbage run on by, by an Euler is below the, the line. You don't walk on the kevish at all. But because other kabbalas, you walk on the kevish, the chat is above the line. So therefore, now, it's questionable, but according to the Shimon Isha Mitzvah, when he says that you do the other side like a carbon chat, do you also put it above the red line as well? As we'll see. But when it comes to this north, to the northeast corner, yes, I agree with the Tanakama. You put it, you sprinkle in the corner and spread the two sides. There you follow the Karma Chatz. Nice and Marov. First you go on the west side because you're going around. So first you hit the west side, which is right in front of the base of Migdash, and then you continue walking down to the end. Then you put it on the south side. My time, but then I'm What's this photo? Why are you taking the Karma Tumid? Different than all other oilers, they're treating it half like an oil and half like a chattis. Abiyah said in the name of one of the one of the Tambidim of the Yeshiva, Rabbi Anai, Oh, Makro, look at the post, it says, We see, eat easy, echad la chattis, Hashem. You bring a goat, which is a carb of chattis, Hashem, and we're learning more shuas, it's for Hashem, atonement for him, for reducing the size of the moon. And then it's on the post, Al oilers hatomid, yeah, so you should make this. Um, you should make this on top of the oil of Tommy So he's going to imagine, imagine this afterward, there's a full stop, and you read that this oil of Tommy and also chatas, add the chatas to the oil. That's how he reads it. Oil, uh, he's an oil of Rahman, you should behave like a chatas. Okay, so how do you do that? No, he's saying this is what you do. But it says la chatas al oil is a tummy. Add a chatas to this oil of tummy that it, the oil of tummy itself treats like a chatas. How do you do that? Kate said, No, he said, Acha shishtain ke my soil. So on one side and on the, 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 the northeast side, you treat like an oil, you sprinkle it on the corner and then it spreads. Shtayim shahin shtayim my soil. Shtayim shahim shtayim ke my chatas. And the other side, you actually do two walls and by a chatas as well, but you don't sprinkle, you put the, you take it, uh, you put it like mamish against the wall. That's what you do. How do you know that we divide the, 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 the four sprinkles and we do one like an like an oil, which one is equals two, and then the other the, the, the side look at two, which is two? Why don't you let's do all the sides like an oil? So do both the angles and spring in the corner and spread the two walls, and then start again and do like a chatas four walls. So why, why don't we do that? Maybe the positive means do both activities, the oil activity and the chat activity. So the chatz activity. So sprinkle on both corners on the corner and spreads the two sides. And then the arba shein arba kemais the chatz, and then do the four walls like a chatz. Does he know why we don't do that? Because like matzinu, 
Domi, we don't find anywhere that if you fulfill, you satisfy the obligation of what the blood you have to sprinkle, and then you start all over again. My we don't, we don't find Domi blood, that you did your right thing and your tongue, whatever you have to tongue, and then you do it again. Says the Gemara, that's the problem. You have no precedent, and what you are doing, you do have a precedent. What you're doing right now, half of it is an oil, and half of it is does yeah. Hello, I'm poor coffee. You can tell me he kishna kosher. That's what Peda wants. You have no braid. The Peda said clearly, chatos al oil is atomic. So therefore, you say half oil, half chatos. No, we should say the same thing. Peda, the Peda mandates do all the the zrikas like an oil, and then do this, then do it like a chatos. How can I be bal kochin to get across of how? Why do you say the same thing? So the Gemara, the difference is as follows: When you have half oil, half chatos, nobody really knows notices so much the chatos. The end. What do you see? The end product, end result. That is a blood on on the on the on the south. Uh, the southwest corner. You see blood on both ends of the walls. It could have been an oil, could have been a If you didn't see the actual activity, you can't even tell the difference. Possum, piece of tightness, balmihi, over there, all it is, is piece of matonis, balmihi. It's a very minor difference, and therefore that can go. But to go sp- sprinkle it twice, that right away is recognize something's wrong here. It's not the right way of doing it. No, it spreads. No, it isn't. When you sprinkle on the corner, it spreads. So what's a chilek if you sprinkle in the spreads or if you take it, you dab your finger and you put it on both sides? If, if the end result, you can't really tell the difference. It's a minor. It's a minor difference. Maybe a little bit you can tell, but it's very minor. Says the Gemara. Um... um there we so the Gemara Benaisev, okay. Benaisev, achashish ta'in lemat. So if you're telling me it's like an oil and like a chatas, so Benaisev, achashish ta'in lemat kemais oil. So why don't we do one side uh, below the below the red line, which is where your oil does it, and then sh'tayin shein sh'tayin shein ta'in lemat like a chatas, and do the other side uh, like a chatas, which is above the red line. This way, you, you know, you said you have to add an oil, a chatas to an oil. This is how you make the difference between the two. Says the Gemara. We don't find a precedent where you have one carbon below the line and part of it is above the line. Either all below or, or all below or all above. We don't find it, but now we learned by Yom Kippur that says he's a mimen aches lemayla b'shevu lemat. So we say this in the davening there that you spray one on top and seven below. So we see clearly, and you know that by the kapoidus, and you you don't actually throw the kapoidus on the ground in front of the oven, but it looks like that you throw one above and seven below. Says the Gemara, Kimas. The way Rashi, the Bimach Chayyim Halam Shatni Mori, it's very hard to understand, but Rashi learns Kimas is an answer. Like a matzliv. What's a matzliv? My kimatsiv. Machabude kimenagdina. Kimenagdina is like a shlir bezin that, that that hits you with um, with the belt that you don't hit in the same place. You keep on going lower and lower and lower. So over here also um, uh, the rash is over the matzliv, but basically over here is you keep on going lower and lower, but it could be all above the line. It doesn't have to be below the line, it's all around the line. Trace is another train learner, what it means is. It's the blood lands always in the same place. The difference is if you raise your hand upwards or you put your hand downwards. Lamaila means you still bring the blood in the same place, but you throw it like this. And Lamata means you throw it like this. That's all it means. Lamaila, which way does your hand face you? But it all ends up in the same place. And other shame asking actually, where does it say that when a Bechlir Bezin hits you, you're not allowed to hit all, all the 39 spread belts in the same place? There was no such thing, you can't hit in the same place. Either you can say because Rahmanas, if you hit in the same place, it hurts even worse than if you hit in different places. Yeah, those of we uh, we learned you do like a sego, we'll, we'll see in the Gemara Marcus. Now you one wraps the front, two in the back. Anyway, says the Gemara Veloi, you tell me again, you don't find a precinct where some of it is above the line and some of it is below the line. The Atnan didn't we learn? He's a mean man who if they spray from it, Al Tiharoy Shemazbeah, they spray from it on the Tiharoy of the Mizbeh. Now, what's a Tiharoy of the Mizbeh? Tiharoy, we say when it's noon, we say it's Tiharoy, the Torah Shemayim. What is, what is noon when this, the sun is the brightest and the best part of the wind? So the Torah Shemayim is right in the middle. And when you throw on the Mizbeach, it says you throw on the Mizbeach seven, seven times. The possible to get always on the line, some will be above, some will be below. So you do find precincts where you spray a bit above, a bit below. Kedamri inche, Torah Tiharoy, which is right in the middle of the day. 
So the chayd, if you had three, seven times, it's impossible to get it all on one in the same place. Obviously, some are below, some are above. No, so we have a precedent. Does he want to have a shila? No, a goof of the mizbeya. They're not spraying on the side of the mizbeach and where the line is. They're spraying on top of the mizbeach, on the group of the mizbeach itself. I what's tiray? Tiray means they clean. That you know, you clean out all the clouds. The sun's right in the middle of the sky. So over here also, you you clean out all the tiray that was burnt on the in the morning, and you you know you shot it. You uh, you you, you push it away. You shovel it. You, you know you shovel it away to both sides, and then we do you spray the blood on the part of the bed that's been cleaned. That's what tiray means, clean. But we are spraying on top of the bed. Don't do with the middle of the bed above the line, below the line. So there's no precedent for it. Steve, it says, okay, at some hashemayim, so like this guy that is clean, that is clear from all the clouds and everything else. So here also top of the bed, which is clear from the tanks. Says he more maishna. So why is it that the yoy decided? Okay, we agree. Rabbi Shimon says that you have part oil, part chatz. First he does the oil, and then he does the chatz. How do you know that's the way to do it? Maybe the other way around. Maybe the first you should do the chat, you know, put on both walls, and then you do the oil. Maishna, the yoyiv, oil of Beresha. Why is it the first you sprinkle on the corner and then spread the two walls like an oil? And then the yahada yoyiv, the chat, and then afterwards you do like a chat as you do it on the two walls, the other corner on the two walls. Nasev Beresha, the chat. Why don't we do first the chat? Vahada Nasev, the oil. And then do the oil activity. And what's it? Keep on the oil. Remember, it's a chattas. The Torah says, add the chattas to the oil. So what's essentially, what's the carbon? It's an oil. And we're adding the chattas. So first you do the oil, and then you add the, what you add on the dish. Keep on the oil. He cut my bereisha. Because it's an oil, you do that first. Why is it the yoyiv is the yoyiv is the yoyiv is the yoyiv the When you're walking up the ramp, and you're making a right turn, the first corner that you have south. is the south, the east corner. Not this northeast corner. So you should do the southeast corner and then you walk around the agony opposite and do the north west corner. And yet, no, you walk all around to the other side, to, to the, to the you, know, you go to the right there. So you, now you're on the on the east and the northeast corner. Why do we skip a corner? Why do we go to the northeast and to the southwest? When you're walking up the ramp, you make a right turn, and Rashi says, even though on an oil, you don't walk up the ramp. But since most of you do walk up the ramp, so we'll treat as if you did walk up the ramp. So why don't you first do the southwest, the southeast corner, which is the first corner you hit when you are the ramp, you make a right, and then the other obvious, and then you do the that diagonal opposite, which is the northwest corner. Amri, we say oil to una side. The Pasik says that a carbon oil requires that there should be. On the bottom of the base of his bed, there should be a base. The blood should be sprinkled on the wall with his yisaid there on the bottom. If we look from a pasik, a yisaid is beach oila. So when you do the oila, there has to be yisaid on the bottom. And what what did we learn? We learned that there is no yisaid on two sides of his beach. On the south side of the his and on the and on the on the east side of his beach, there's no yisaid. So the gemara, where is the first place? Um, uh, it has no yisoy. Interesting, Rashi tells us it has no yisoy, except it has there's only one armor. Remember, there's one armor on, the, on, on each corner, but the rest is no yisoy. And Rashi says it's the Gemara Zvach. We just learned it three days ago. Why and what will Rashi send you Zvach and Rafa Gimel and the And remember, the reason why we learned it is because Yehuda, Yehuda encroached in Binyamin's territory, and Binyamin, the base of Binyamin. And when Yama was diving, he wanted that the whole bit of his eyes to have the Arun. We had the whole Gemara here, and Rashi, three days ago. Obviously, Rashi felt that people don't learn about Yemi. And if you're learning Kotrim, you're going to be learning Zvachim, which is after Zion. So, therefore, he tells you where Zvachim is. Maybe that. Maybe that. By the way, not all the shine of you who I just told you that um, the way Rashi learned. That is an armor on each corner. Now, some of the Shayan learned that actually the other way around. It was a Yisoid on, on all four sides. It was only an armor short. The, the, the very end of the south side, where it meets the very end of the east side, there, there was an armor missing. And we want the Be'er Ha'il, Yisoid, the Be'er Ha'il, the entire side should have a Yisoid. Okay, so you want to bite there. So I have another question to you. Maishna, Maishna, the Yahi Bereisha. Let me ask you, why do we go first to the northeast corner and then the southwest corner? Why do you start the southwest corner? In fact, the southwest corner is a lot closer when you're, if you're walking up the ramp. The southwest corner is right there on your left side. You're top of the ramp. You make a left, and there you are. No, instead, we make you go around the, around one and a half turns to get to the other corner. Why do we do that? Says the Gemara. Um, 
Yes, exactly. My Ishna, the Yoberation was Rachit Swain. Why do you go first to the northeast corner of Hadam Arab is Raimi? Nay, the Beration Arab is Raimi. Why do you go first to the Arab is Raimi? But Hadam is Rachit Swain. But the Gibara, the the Sugi will have later, and we had another place. It's Kibla Ma. We learned Chol Pina Shata Pina. Whenever you make a turn, La Yu El Del Chimin, you should always go to the right. And and the Rashi omits the next word of Mizba. It doesn't matter, but maybe you always go to the right. Is but is but Aisha about who Pogger, and that's the first thing you remember. You, know, you get to top the ramp, you gotta make a right turn. Whenever you make it, whenever you go, you gotta make a right turn. We'll talk more about that later because you know about Hanukkah list is big like it's how like Hanukkah list or finish out the plane. We'll talk about that before we get to the more. It's only a couple of days away. Um, my, that's why you go first to the right, and then you walk your way around out the car. My the ba'ilu who did come rachmana of my chatzes. How do you know the pasuk is telling you with the oil? And then it's the chatzes activity. Maybe the other way around. The doom of the chatzes come rachmana of the ma'is. Maybe that pasuk chatzes of Hashem al oil as a tamid means that 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 take that karma chatzes of Rosh Chodesh and do one side like a chatzes, another side like an oil. How do you know it means take the oil and change it? Well, you know, so that it can be. See, it says in the Pasik, Al Oilas had Tamil Yasin. It says in the Pasik on top of the um, um on top of the Tamil Yasin is I will talk about the oilas of Tamil and saying on top and in addition to the Tamil do the chat. My comment on the media, the chat is shot the oil. So I just telling you that take we're talking about the oil, but add the chat to the oil. Okay, so my right there. Now we're trying to read Taz. Um, we learned over there. Now, if you have a picture, a diagram of the base of Mikdash, you look in, you'll see you have a big courtyard. We'll learn more tomorrow, some more about the, the thing base Mikdash. You have a big courtyard, uh, Ezra's Nashim, and then you have, you walk upstairs, and you have Ezra's Yisrael, and then you have the Ezra's Kainim, Achlekes, and Ezra's Yisrael, and Kainim, who steps on that. And then on your right side over there, it was a number of chambers, a number of shops. And uh, and there were four chambers there actually, and all four chambers entered into a big room. That big room is called the Lucifer Base on my kid. And Ashi tells us they used to walk barbers, they used to walk um, barefoot on this marble floor. And so they, it was very, very cold. So they'd walk into this room, there's a fire constantly burning there, and they used to warm up. That was called the Base on my kid. And then uh, off this Base on my kid, or, or we're entering the Base on my kid on all four sides. So you have the Base on my kid right now. This, this is on the right side, this is on the north side of the Base on English. And towards the east, as soon as you walk in the entrance there in that area, it's actually right there on your right side. You have a big, big room called the base of Mikit. In that big room, you have four smaller rooms, and two of them were sort of totally in the east, outside the base of English, and two of them was were inside the base of English. Now, what were those four rooms? Amal and Amuna, the Muna would tell them to go, baby, you bring for me with the carbon tummy, bring for me to lay a sheep, the Lushka's base of Tlaim. From the chamber, one of the rooms there was the Lushka's base of Tlaim, but they kept the sheep. You remember they had sheep there. They had to have them back. They had to check the sheep out, you know, four days in advance. So they always had three days worth of stock over there. Now, so where is it? Is, um, and where is it? Where is the Lishkal Atlai? It's not a question, it's a statement. And where is the Lishkal How you said was, and this is important, but this is going to be asking a question. The Miktsoya Tsfainis Ma'ar Rabis was the northwest corner. So from those, these four rooms in that big room, it was the one that was the it's all the way on the right, and the, the one furthest back. Um, in fact, were a total of four rooms in that base of Mike. And what were they? We just mentioned. And another one was that they had a room. There were people who come in there after they paid money. They would come in, they would get you know, how many, how much libation, depending what kind of carbon. So we had different, we had four different names on it. It was sheep, a calf. A cow, and then we had oni. Remember, I'm a tzayda oni because he, if he's a tzayda oni, beside being like a normal carpet, he had to have one extra leg of oil there so that he can put on his right thumb and his right toe. So that was for the lishkat hachis sum. There's another room where they kept all the um, all the seals that people gave in, or all the vouchers. Basically, that's what it was. Uh, then there was another room with more with more wood, a small room where they kept uh, their wood. And it was open to the big room. And what exactly the purpose of that base on Mike was is not so clear. I think the Ach has another room, Shoisi, but Lechem Aponim. Another room, remember, we learned before there's a certain family that uh, they knew how to make the Lechem Aponim, the base Garmu, they refused to share with anybody else. That was their room that they did all their work. Okay. But in meanwhile, I have a question. I'm troubled by the Lishkat Atloim. You told me the Lishkat Atloim is where in the northwest corner I have a problem. And my problem is as follows it says, Masech Temidis. 
It says, so what we just said right now was Masech Tamid. In Masech Tamid, and we said before, we thought Masech Tamid was, was Shimon Isha Mitzvah. We, we decided it wasn't him at all because um, Shimon Isha Mitzvah is actually Masech Yuma. Not Masech Tamid. So what we have over here, Masech Tamid, is what I mean, a steal from Midas the Tamid. There it says, Arba Lishchaz Hoyle Beis HaMaikid, with four Lishachas in the Beis HaMaikid, there were four rooms in the Beis HaMaikid. Kekatoni is like small little rooms, Apsuch of the Tachna, open to a giant auditorium. Shtayim Akkoj Lechol, the two, on the, two on, the, on, the, on, the, on the south side were inside the Beis HaMaikid. The two on the north side were like sticking out from the Beis HaMaikid. They were Choyl. The Roshay Paspasin, and there were these little bit of a pale fence, wooden sticks. Mavdili Mekoy Lechel, they had to know if they were standing inside the base of Medush or inside the house. So they had these like a wooden little fence, a makeshift fence. Ma Hoyim Mishamshas, and what were these four rooms that were there? So he says it. Ma Rabbi Zromi, the southwest corner. Hoy Salishchas Tala Tala Karba was with the sheep boys. Before we said it was in the north. The northwest corner, and now you tell me it's the southwest corner. And that's our problem. How can it, you know which one is it? Um, what was the south? Uh, what was the southeast corner? That's what we made. What was the north? <coughs> the northeast corner of Gonzu base, Hashmanoi, Avne Mizbeach. That's where the base, uh, Hashmanoi were. Um, now, we're not talking about the same place where the other place was. We're talking now about in the Ezra's, uh, I think we're talking now about in the Ezra's, the Noshim, there was a big area. There were four, um, sorry, no, still the same place. So then there was a Yoisaba Lechem Aponim, there was a place of Aponim, Mizrahi, what was the northeast corner? Gonzu based Hashmanoi, Abne Mizbech, what the Goyim, the Yevonim did on the Mizbech was to shock some Malka Yavan. The, 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 the Malka Yavan went and they put up for that by disorder on the Mizbech. So, in order to uh, fix it up, they removed the stones, but because they came from the Mizbech, they put it in this room. <clears throat> um, sorry? Yeah, exactly. And Spainis Marabis, what did they do on the northwest corner, which is what you know, what Masechta uh, Mida says was the, the, the Tloyim? No, what they did there was, what well, sorry, Tommy said was Tloyim, what they did was the original base at Tfila. From there, they were, he went to a cave and he went to the base at Tfila. So, so, how do you reconcile it to? Obviously, it's two different Kanoim. Omar Abhuna, Manton, and Midas. You know who the author of Masechta Midas is? So interesting how they, they each Masechta, they, they decided a different Tana, all anonymous Mishnah. So, you they said was Shimon and Mitzvah. And, um, and now we're saying that Masechta Midas was Rabbi Lezab and Yaakov. Masechta Midas, Rabbi Lezab and Yaakov, therefore, it's different than, than, than Tommy. So, can't ask a question from one to another. And how do I know that? Tanan, we learned Ezra's Noshim. Now we're going to learn about the chambers that were in the Ezra's Noshim. The Ezra's Noshim was large. 135 Amis by 135 Amis. There were four rooms on the four corners. Now we're talking about the Ezra's Noshim. And these rooms are much larger. What were they serving? She says as follows. And we're going to prove from this Gemara right here that Abel Ezra Yaakov is the author of, 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 of uh, Mishnayis of the uh, Mitz. And therefore, don't ask me from Midas to Tommy. And he still is a student tonight. So what, and what happened? What were these four rooms there? Uh, as soon as you walked into the Ezra Noshim on the south, on the south side, the east, which is the right. And so you walk in, he hoists us on your left side. When you walked on your left side, he hoists on the Zidim. That was the room of the Nazidim. What did the Nazidim do there? Shisham, the Zidim, the Vashlim, the Shamay. And there they had to cook their carbon shlamim. Even though you can eat anybody shlamim, they used to cook it there. Why? Because they had to do something. Umigalchin Sadan, they would shave their hair. Umishalchin, they would place it, they would place it under the pot. And, and that's what you're supposed to do. It says he was put it on the fire underneath the carbon shlamim. So that's what that was that's the room that they did it in. Okay. Mizrach, it's fine. As soon as you walk to the base of Midrash on your right side, on the north side and the east is the right side. That's where they kept all the wood. Shasham, and what, what was this? What happened there? Shasham we learned before. All those kainim that had a boom, 
Oimdin, which we learned this week's parsha, all about the moment. Oimdin, they stand, they will matli in beit and they check all the wood, make sure there are no worms in the wood and so on. Shekolechi, yes, but to last any wood that has any worms in it whatsoever, possibly bech is possibly gam is bech. So that's what their job. The balamum they couldn't work in the dish. They worked over there. Uh, and uh, in the lishkas hamatzrayin, okay, it's fine. Is my rabbis? Then they went to the northwest corner. So they go now. Uh, that's on the right side, but the other end, closer to the base of Megdush. He hoist a lishkas hamatzrayin. That was the room of the mitzrayin. And what did the mitzrayin do? That's where the mitzrayin would go to the mikveh on the eighth day of the tire because they had to then go in and get oil on the on the right earlobe and the right toe and the right thumb. So they would go to the mikveh. So they went to that room. Then they went to the mikveh there, and then he said, "Maravis um, What about the southwest corner? So the west closest to the base of Migdash, but on the left side. I forgot. That means that he was the guy talking to him now. He, who was saying the first three was him. That's how we know he was also here. Comes along Abishol. Abishol says, and the Rebbe says that Abishol means the, not that the that he showed, that Chaim showed, Abishol means the borrowed father. Abaya didn't have a father. The Yosem, Rabbi raised him. So therefore, Rabbi, Rabbi had affinity with Abishol. Then explains the Apichsidus, what the connection to Abishol is. Abishol said that there they would uh, place wine and oil. That room, that's where they stored the wine and the oil. He said in the class, in fact, had a name. Lushchas Beis Mishmanya, the house of oil. So we see from here that Belezer and Yaakov is the author of the Sechta, um, uh, what do you call it, Mesechta Midas, and that if we can ask a question from there to tell me why it says different things. Okay, we'll stop here and continue tomorrow in this Sechta.